finish video number three. One more than food for me. <laughs> Well, I just got done filming another hot challenge. If you haven't seen it already, because it'll be up by the time you see this, why don't you go ahead and watch it after you're done watching this vlog, huh? Well, time to keep on trucking. Lots to do, so little time. Ready, set, go. Here we are at, um, what is it? Fryman. Yeah, Fryman Canyon. But here's the thing. This one, the reason why is because this entrance, I guess, is called this one, Will Car Will Occur Park. But I've been here before. But I was with Metal Jesus. So now it's Danielle's first time. But not only Danielle. Oh yes, we got Fred Mertz, and he's nice and protected. If you guys like this, and you have some fur babies that can fit in there. Go to Shelly's AmazonShop.com. You can find it there. It's one of the best investments yet. All right, Freddie, let's see. You got your little jean jacket on and everything. Let's see what happens. Well, this is officially where we're going in. There are different little entrances, kind of like um, Runyon does. <laughs> Mertz doesn't bother, I can't even talk. Mertz doesn't bother the bumpy ride. So Danielle, what do you think so far? First time? I like time? it. It's peaceful. I don't feel like I have a fear of heights and I don't feel freaked out. It's spaced out well and it's a pretty view and the vibe is pretty chill here. So yeah, I like it. What about you, Freddie? <laughs> sounds like water. I know. So I was telling Danielle that this is the little amphitheater they have over here. I like legit use it. Um, more in like the spring and summertime. I've been meaning to check it out, but I just don't think about it. So like putting that energy there, I want to check something out here because I think it'd be really cool. It's like in the middle of the freaking woods. Like I just like that. It's a little play, you know. It was a little good communicator. He would just yeah. pee. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look, they have like a nursery over there. That's so cool. That must be the garden. They said there was some sort of garden. Urban garden. Amen to that. <laughs> Yay, so the good news is, is that Ethel gets to go home after all. The bad news is, is it's just waiting here. And these walls are sucking my soul every second. And I've been farting all day. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. I'm very gassy gal. Damn. What? I am real close. <laughs> Look at this douche. I don't even care. This guy's little jacket on. Had to treat. But at least we get to take him home. That's the most important thing. Shabbat Shalom. I just want to say, Fred and I today are denim buddies. Shabbat Shalom. And there's Freddy. Today's mission is to go to the hot sauce store to see what I can find for one of my hot challenges. But first, a little bubbly, it's breakfast. Oh yeah. All right, I just came out of Light My Fire. I did not allow you to film or take pictures in there, so I'll show you what I got. She said these are really hot. So I got these peanuts. Reaper pepper honey peanut. Kick your ass hot. Habanero popcorn. Ghost pepper popcorn. Ghost pepper and the habanero. No, Carolina Reaper. And I'm hoping these are hot because I can put these in my purse. So that's what I'm looking for on that. All right, mission accomplished. All right, well before we head out, I had to take a picture with little Freddie Mertz here over here by the fountain and bridge. Shabbat Shalom. Now, you can't expect me to come to the farmer's market without going 
to Evie. My friend. <laughs> I look like a hot mess <clears throat> well I just had another successful uh, secret society member shoot um, I'm tired I got a big shoot day tomorrow I gotta get ready for bed all right see you guys tomorrow all right we just got to my home girls place gonna be shooting some fun stuff Danielle's gonna be shooting some stuff we got one of my photographer friends with me. It's gonna be great. Oh, and we got the Mertzes. I had to move my car because um, where I was parked. Although it was right in front of uh, Liz's place, um, it was only our parking. I'm gonna take a shot. It's been a stressful morning, but I've been trying to keep that mindset of like, okay, Here's things that are not going the way they're supposed to. What can I do next time or right now to fix it? <sighs> That's a lot. Let me see a badass kind of. Okay. Yeah, there you go. My arms, uh, the arms always take away the waist if you don't have enough. Can you, can you throw back your head a little more? I mean, like this. typical I went in there just to get some coffee and ended up spending $135 it was all totally needed though so now I got lots of nice nutritious yummy food for the week let's see how long it lasts me and now I'll, Fred Mertz is probably pissed he needs to eat unfortunately Danielle left um, a trip of hers that was in a bag that we had yesterday and uh, some of the things that Ethel needs um, at Liz's place yesterday. So now I'm gonna just make some celery juice. I'm gonna drink it, take a shower, and then head on over to Liz, grab it, then go to the DMV. Sucks. I wanted to work out when I got home, but I was just like, dude, it's not gonna happen. But it's okay because I don't have to worry about when I get home, going to the DMV, the grocery store, or going to Liz. So it's fine, I'll just have to do it later. But I will do it, I will do it. Here we go, just made this celery juice. Cheers to our health because hello, we only get one body, so we gotta like take care of it. Oh yeah, got the expensive car wash today. Right Freddie, only the best. <laughs> So I'm finally home now, and um, you know, when I left the house, I had this super cute outfit on. Got lots of compliments on it, by the way. And, um, you know, but it did have my thigh-high boots and a little cardigan, so it got super hot. So I had to throw some shorts on. And check out these bruises <laughs> from the pole yesterday. I swear to goodness, I'm going to make Metal Jesus take care of his damn... Can I zoom in? No, I guess I can't. His damn mess over there that's been there for months come on it's ugly watch when it's done and it's out of there you're gonna see how awesome the living room looks you know what I don't understand is why is it if like you choose not to monetize a video because like let's say I'm gonna have music in the background right 
I get it. Sometimes it'll just be a claim and then be like, oh, you can't monetize it and that's fine. But then other times you get like a strike. It's like if you choose that that's what you want to do and you're not making money off of it, I don't feel like YouTube should get all pissy with you. Because, hello, if you're not making money off of it and, and like, if you're giving credit or like whatever, ugh, it's just really annoying. I'm just a music gal and... I typically am listening to music or I go places where there's music and I don't know like right now it's like okay I have to do a little entry saying that I just recorded a secret society vlog and then I was like oh I gotta turn I gotta put the thing on mute uh, I don't know I say if you're not making money off of it it's well, it's not a big deal like what's the problem man like, what's the problem? Hey, YouTube, what's the problem? I just got done uh, shooting some Secret Society custom stuff. I am so tired. I have been at it all day. I got a little bit of editing to do, and then I can just relax, enjoy this Shabbat, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Shabbat Shalom. We do. We do. We do. We do. Me or Mrs. Mary the there. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Timmy. And then, let's not forget, Madame Marzola. Marzola. Ayatollah. Yay! I shot all the videos that I need to tonight for at least YouTube. I just have one more video, but that's for a secret society member. And then I got two photo sets to do. And then I'm done. And then I'll time, it'll be time to cook dinner. See? And it's only 6.06. .06. Flip it upside down, that's 9.09. 9.09! What's 9.09? That's my area code I grew up in. Finally, I got my camera going. Jeez, I've been having to film all day on my iPhone, which it's okay. It's better than a lot of cameras. I'm not complaining, but you know, it's not as nice as the Sony, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't let it stop me. I did film a bunch of stuff today for my channel, uh, for my secret society, of course. Uh, yesterday was a very challenging day for me so uh, it really pushed me back in like just getting things done and um, at the end of the night I was just like you know what I'm just gonna have to have a busy day tomorrow I'm not gonna feel guilty and so that's today and I'm glad that uh, I did that because you know something that I've just done throughout the years is I take on a little bit too much and whether that be work or worry, anxiety, um, you know, etc. And it's just one of those things where I've been really trying to practice just taking a step back, reassessing the situation, and diving into whatever with a clear head. You know what I mean? I was really good at that for a long time. And then I just kind of, I was just in this conversation with Liz, which you saw earlier in the uh, vlog. And on Monday I was telling her, I was like, you know, I'm slowly getting back to the girl I was when I used to live in Wilcox, which is this like tiny, just run down street in Hollywood. And Danielle and I used to live there and it was a studio apartment, me, her and the Mertzes. And it was a tough time financially. It wasn't the best situation. You know, I used to sleep on the floor. Um, it, was, it wasn't the best environment, but where my soul was, I was in such a good place. And where I was vibrating at, the levels I was vibrating at, it was just where I needed to be. And I was really being a service to people, especially in the wrestling world. At that time, I was just getting back into wrestling uh, after taking time off. So she was like, well, what happened? And I said, honestly, just people disappointing me, it just really hardened my soul because I would open up 
and I just have these different situations with different people and then after a while it just hardened me and so I'm trying to not be hardened. You know a lot of the situations that I've been in in the past at the end of the day it's just been that those people didn't know how to be there for me in the way I needed them to be and I can't be mad at that but it took me a really long time to realize that and not take it personal right so I've just now that I've come to that conclusion and accepted that I'm slowly going back to that girl that lived in Wilcox but with a better situation I live in an awesome place I still have the Mertzes Danielle's still my roommate Metal Jesus is with me like at that time I was very single I hadn't been with anyone for a while years so you know like my secret society is going don't but, but my secret society is doing well i was gonna say going well and then change it doing well tongue tied um you know my youtube channel is finally getting momentum so it's like i owe it to myself to have the joy i did when i was just living freaking in wilcox sleeping on the freaking floor with my back problems the cucarachas aka cockroaches but you know, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment and uh, make sure to keep watching my videos again. Even if you just put, the, put it on in the background, put me on mute, that's fine. I need those minutes. We're slowly but surely getting there. And I just wanna say thank you guys for um, just coming along this journey with me. I think it's so much fun and it's been cool uh, hanging out with you guys in the premieres for the vlogs um, and chit chatting, getting to know some of you. So it's fun, it feels like a, a little community here and I like that. All right, until my next video, I'm Shelly from Kelly and I'll be smelling you later. Adios.